What's up YouTube, this is Demkeys and today we are going to take a look at rigid body 2D sleeping. Now the concept of rigid body sleeping is really simple. Once a rigid body is moving at less than a certain minimum linear or rotational speed, the physics engine will assume that that rigid body has come to a halt. When this happens, that rigid body is going to be set in sleeping mode, meaning it will not move again until it receives a collision or some sort of force is applied to it. Performance wise, this is great because no processor time will be spent updating that rigid body until the next time it is awoken. In this tutorial, we're going to take a look at rigid body 2D sleeping. So let's begin. Now if you're using the default layout then your game tab is going to be next to the scene tab. So just drag and drop it down here. We don't want to see what's happening in the game view. We just want to see what's happening in the scene view. Also select the main camera and disable it because we don't really need it. Click game object, 3D object, quad. Remove the mesh collider from the quad and add a box collider 2D instead. Make a duplicate of the quad and rename it to ground. Stretch it out and this will be the ground that our player will be walking on. Rename the first quad to player and add Add a rigid body 2D component to it. All right, next let's create and attach a script to our player object. Call it move script O2. Open it up in mono develop. All right, public float move force, public float rotation force, private rigid body 2D, R body 2D, public bool sleeping, public float velocity, and public float angular velocity. In the start method, add a reference to our rigid body 2D component. Then in the update method, float h equals input dot get access raw, horizontal, multiplied by move force. Next, float v equals input dot get access raw, vertical, multiplied by rotation force. Next, if h is not equal to zero, or for or you use the two pipe symbols v not equal to zero then our body 2d dot add force vector 2 dot right multiplied by h and our body 2d dot add torque v create another if statement if input dot get key down key code dot space then our body 2d dot velocity equals vector 2 dot zero this will be useful when we want to suddenly stop our player next sleeping equals our body 2d dot is sleeping is sleeping is a function that will return true or false depending on whether or not the rigid body is asleep next velocity equals our body 2d dot velocity dot magnitude angular velocity equals our body 2d dot angular velocity save the script go back to unity now let's enter the variable values move force should be 10 rotation force should be 0.1 and sleeping velocity and angular velocity will be set from the script all right now before we continue make sure your player object is selected and then lock your inspector on the right side so that when we select any other object this inspector does not change. Next, create another inspector. Right click on the console tab and click add tab inspector and then click edit project settings physics 2D. This will open up the physics 2D settings and now lock this inspector as well. Okay, so we are going to take a look at three properties from the physics 2D settings. Time to sleep, linear sleep tolerance and angular sleep tolerance. Time to sleep is the time in seconds that a rigid body must be still before it will go to sleep. Linear sleep tolerance is the linear speed below which the time to sleep countdown will begin and and angular sleep tolerance is the rotational speed below which the time to sleep countdown will begin. Now how this works is if our rigid body is moving and it has a certain amount of linear speed, once the linear speed goes below 0.01, the time to sleep countdown will begin. It's currently set to 0.5 seconds, which is half a second. Once half a second is complete, the rigid body will be set in sleeping mode. Now these are very small values, so things might happen a little fast. So let's increase these values a little bit. Let's change time to sleep to five seconds, linear sleep tolerance to 5 and angular sleep tolerance to 10. All right, now before we run the game, set the gravity scale to 0 and make sure the rigid body 2D sleeping mode is set to start awake, not any of the other options. Now, when you play the game, you need to move the player left or right with the A or D key. And once the player is in motion, you'll see this velocity changing. Now, initially, try to keep the velocity above 5 and then take it below 5. Now, once you take the velocity below 5, the time to sleep countdown will begin. And as we have stated here, 5 seconds. Within 5 seconds, if the the velocity doesn't go above 5 again, the rigid body will be set to sleeping mode. Let's try this out now. As you can see, the velocity is currently 6. I'm going to bring it down to 4.8. And as you can see, now the rigid body is sleeping. It's not going to move again unless we apply some sort of force to it, at which point it wakes up again. Let's try the same thing with angular velocity. Try rotating the object by using the W or S key. As you can see, currently my angular velocity is above 10 and once it goes below 10 the countdown timer starts and after 5 seconds 
the rigid body goes to sleep. It is possible to manually set the rigid body to sleeping mode and to wake it up as well. Let's go back to our script and type if input dot get key down key code dot f then our body 2d dot sleep. This is going to set our rigid body 2d in sleeping mode. If input dot get key down key code dot g rigid body 2d dot wake up. This will wake up the rigid body. Hit save. Go back to unity. Play the game. And now when your rigid body is in motion, if you hit F, the rigid body goes to sleep. We know that the rigid body has gone to sleep not because this rigid body stopped moving, but because our sleeping checkbox is currently checked. If you press G, it will wake up. Let's take a look at the sleeping mode options. So under sleeping mode, you have three options. Never sleep, which means the rigid body will never automatically be set to sleeping mode. You have to set it manually. Start awake, which means the rigid body will start in an awoken state when you run the game and start asleep, which means the rigid body will start in a sleeping state when you run the game. Let's try start asleep and set the gravity scale to one and run the game. Now, because we have set the gravity scale to one, if our rigid body was actually awake, it would have fallen to the ground. And as you can see, even the sleeping checkbox is checked. Press G on your keyboard and the rigid body wakes up. So yeah, that's it. So I hope this tutorial was helpful. If you would like to watch more tutorials, you can click in the top left corner of the screen and in the top right is a link to my music channel where I post music that I make in my free time. In the bottom left corner, you have a preview for a small game that I made. The links for the project and the game build are in the description down below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Leave your comments below and I'll see you guys next time.